Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hello everyone, B1B Flyer here, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to do Tiger Stripes. I've got a Zeus I've been working on, I've been doing some white, and uh, now it's time to start doing the accents, which is going to have some shoulder Tiger Stripes on the arms as well as the uh, upper arm area. So I'm going to show how to put the orange down first and then I'll show how to do the tiger stripes. So for this, uh, obviously I'll be using some orange. I like to use Troll Slayer from Citadel, but you can use whatever you have on hand. I'll also be using some Flash Kits Yellow to do a little bit of a fade using the airbrush. Also kind of talk about how to do that with a brush. If you're not painting over a white miniature, typically you're going to want to have something to help sit behind the orange it's a lighter color or a yellow or anything like that, that you're trying to do with a light color over dark so what helps a lot with reds and orange are to use mid browns so if you have anything like this lying around especially if you're doing over blacks and blues things like that put a couple of coats of uh, whatever medium reddish uh, tan whatever you have there that will uh, kind of put a intermediary layer over the br uh, darker color and help bring out the, the brightness of the orange or the red or the yellow or whatever the case may be. So a couple of thin coats helps kind of even it out and then when you get that more translucent paint over the top of that it will definitely pay off. So what I'm going to do now is continue with putting the Troll Slayer orange on the upper arms on this and then I'll start talking about how to get some fades with yellows as well as some uh, airbrush work before we're putting in the tiger stripes. I'm loading a brush with some Troll Slayer Orange that I thinned with just a little bit of water. I know that I'm not going to get even coverage, completely even coverage on this first coat. In fact, it'll probably take three, maybe even four to get a nice even, to, uh, even finish, but work thin and be patient. Right now I'm using a number two Slow Fuse Gaming Long Wick, which is a Kalinsky Sable Brush. Oranges and yellows can be fairly picky and finicky, so it's best to just keep it thin and then let it let it dry before trying to go back to it if you end up getting too aggressive about trying to get an even layer on the first coat or two it can end up having you pushing paint around and you end up with a textured surface and all kinds of other things that you don't really necessarily want they're not terrible things to have happen but it's just a easier way to go about doing things if you just take a couple of thin coats and let the paint tack onto itself. Now that I've got about three, three and a half coats of coverage on the area where I was putting the orange, I'm pretty happy with the overall look and it's fairly evened out. I might have to touch up a few places here and there with that fourth coat or a couple of dabs, but overall you can see that it's, it's a, a nice even color. So what I've done now is I've gone ahead and put a little bit of orange on a kind of a tester piece to kind of show how to add a yellow accent to the tiger stripes because we're doing orange and with orange tiger stripes there's a little bit of a option here to kind of add a little variety this isn't necessary you could completely move on to just doing the black stripes which we'll cover later but if you wanted to do this with a brush versus an airbrush i'll show what i would do um, so what i've got here is a little bit of the troll slayer orange i've got some flash kits yellow i've mixed them together and i've gotten this color and then up here is a model color light orange so you can see they're fairly close so you can get what you need without having to have the extra paint and all I did was just take a little bit of yellow mix a little bit of orange and that's what I got and all we're doing now is looking to get kind of in the middle if you want it to be more like the, the belly of a tiger if, if that's what you're thinking of or you could do conversely you could do it on the outer edges and maybe just highlight the outer edges I'm just going to show the the middle and how I would do it with a brush real real quick and uh, you know so get that mid mid tone kind of in there and then I'm going to go back and just grab some of this yellow real fast and just kind of throw that in the middle 
And then I'm going to take the base, the uh, Troll Slayer Orange. I'm going to add some water to it, get it kind of thin. And then I'm just going to work on the outside of the edges. Kind of a real haphazard wet blend. And of course, I'm, I'm doing this relatively quickly, but you can see where you can just kind of work some of those colors in. And because you're working with thin paints, you kind of get a little bit of leeway. Now, if you didn't want to do something this dramatic or extreme, obviously you could just start with that medium, the, the mixed color, and then just do a little bit of the orange to kind of bring it back in and step it back that way. Additionally, you don't have to do a, a wet blend at all. You could just put a little bit of the lighter color in the middle and then take a step up of the next color and then call it good because the tiger stripes are really going to cover a lot of those transitions anyway. But I'm just showing you kind of what I'm going to do with the airbrush but without having to use a paintbrush. As you can see, I've added some yellow airbrushed highlights to the orange that I did. So I've got a nice transition, which will look really good underneath the black stripes. Again, if you're a airbrush person and you know how to mask and all that kind of stuff, if not, there's a lot better tutorials probably than I could teach on how to do that. So let's go back to this uh, demonstration area here where you can see I've already started kind of messing around with doing some tiger stripes. So what I've got is just some basic black paint. I've thinned it down and I've got my double zero brush. Anything that holds a fine tip is fine. I just wanted to use a, a bit of a smaller liner uh, style brush for this. So I'm gonna get a little paint on my brush and wherever I want the start of the tip to be is the direction I'm going to pull from. So. I want to do another stripe to go this direction, so I'm going to start here. I'm going to bring it back and do that. If I want to thicken it up, I'm going to continue in the same direction. Maybe I want it thicker here and follow through. Anytime I want a point, if I want to do a point on the opposite direction, let's say a little fork on the bottom here. I'm going to put the point of where the brush is and pull away from it. What that does is it minimizes your chance of pushing pressure down onto the surface and then having the paint spread out away from it. And then of course, as the brush comes back and you lift, there's going to be a thicker line there. It's, it's slightly for the most part, but it, you're much more likely to have a, a rounded edge behind where your brush stroke has lifted than you are from where the tip of the brush has started. So if we want to just put a little stripe in here, just a little more paint. As I lift, you can see there's a round edge there. So I would have to turn around and then just add a little connector to it. And that's really all I'm doing is picking some stripes. There's different ways to do stripes. If you, if you look up Google images and all that, you can see there's some more kind of bendy, um, organic looking ones and then there's ones that look more like kind of like in row I won't say zebra stripes but more thicker looking uh, more along the lines of this one here more of a flowing style versus ones that have a little bit more of a kind of a organic fork and either one's fine whatever you're whatever you like whatever you're comfortable with but you can see there's just a couple different kinds on there you can mix them both it doesn't matter Tigers in nature have a wide variety of, of different stripes and things. So I'm gonna start putting that on my miniature here. And while I'm doing this, the thing I'm gonna try not to do is have all of my stripes end in the same spot. So what I recommend you do is maybe start on, on one side and pull towards where your edge is and kind of see, okay, I got a couple of ends here. And then maybe, you know, do a continuous line through here a little bit. Um, you can do kind of the, I guess, rib cage style where there's, it's kind of open in the middle, but um, that's more for like the stomach of a tiger. So uh, I don't really want that effect on this. So that's what I'm gonna try to avoid doing.
to me this is an organic process so some stripes are going to be starting out thin and other ones are going to get real thick as I decide to go back and maybe add a little bit more to them so keep your options open and don't get too hung up on whether or not it looks perfect at to begin with you can change your mind and come back and update things and still have everything look just as you probably imagined it in your head so as you can see now I've got kind of a you know break here got a couple that end kind of right here so I think what I'm gonna do now is have maybe a continuous stripe kind of come across to start out the bottom edge here Some areas you won't be able to change the direction of your brush, and that's okay. Just do the best you can. Alright, as you can see, that'll be the process for the... So here's the finished arm. As you can see, I kind of went back and made a few heavier kind of connected a couple of them had a little a little fun with it just kind of looked at it and made it made it how I wanted it to look there's no real wrong way to do tiger stripes so with a little bit of practice you can do the exact same thing thanks for watching hope you learned a little bit visit us on camo specs online on Facebook follow us we'd love to have you check us out and give us some comments hit subscribe on YouTube and uh, keep updated on when we post new content Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Shutdown sequence initiated.